Today we're talking all about WaveStream, which is a plugin that is dedicated to remote collaboration. So if you want to know what it does, all its use cases, and actually see it demoed, then stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So if you are looking to improve upon any of those skills, get the latest product reviews and even learn about music business, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button and notification bell and then you'll never miss a new video when it comes out. So in today's video, we are talking about WaveStream, which is a plugin that allows you to transmit audio from your DAW to someone else's DAW to a web browser and even to a mobile phone, okay? So really the two use cases for this is remote collaboration where you might be listening into a mix session and then you can make suggestions to the mix engineer. Hey, I wanna boost this. I wanna turn that down. I want that EQ differently, whatever. And then the other option would be for recording. Now you're not really supposed to do two-way recording with this where I would transmit from my DAW to someone else's DAW and then they listen and record in their DAW. It's kind of not really meant to do that even though you probably could. Really what you wanna do with this is if I have a session here, I wanna bounce a two track, send it to another artist who might have a studio set up and then they record on their DAW while I listen in. That's really how you wanna use this for recording. Now. Lastly, you can use this for streaming to your mobile phone in which you can obviously listen on your mobile phone, see what it's gonna sound like because a lot of people listen on their phone and it's you know a lot quicker to do it this way than bouncing a two track. And you can also take your mobile phone to your car and listen in your car via Bluetooth or I don't think we really have eighth inch cables anymore, but you get the picture. So it's very convenient for all those things I talked about. Now, if you do end up liking this, I have a link in the description below where you can go purchase it. So in today's video, I'm going to demo it in full for you. But before we do the demo, I will kind of want to take you through the different plugins that make up WaveStream and explain them to you and how to set them up. So first, we're going to look at the WaveStream Send plugin. All right, so here we are in Pro Tools, and we're gonna be the ones who are streaming our audio to the far side. And to do that properly, we want to put the WaveStream Send plugin on the last insert on our master channel, which is right here. So I'm gonna open this up. So this is what it looks like. This is the Send plugin. We have an option to rename our stream. By default, it is called My Stream. So I'm gonna rename this to Test Stream. And as you can see, a rename there. Now we also have an option to password protect the stream. That means that even though someone may have the link, they can't stream it without the passcode. So if you hit the down arrow here, we can initiate passcode and I'm just gonna make it 1111, keep it simple, okay? So our stream is completely set up, it's that easy. All we have to do to start streaming is hit this power button. And as you can see, we are now streaming. However, of course, the far side cannot hear anything yet because they need to know where to listen to it at. So with your cell phone, you can scan this QR code right here and it will take you to the listening link. You can also copy right here the URL. You can send this to someone in an email or they can put it in their receive version of this plugin here to listen within their DAW. It's as simple as that. Now, a couple other things over here on the right hand side, this volume fader here only affects audio that you're hearing on your end here. This does not affect the far side. So if you are sending too much audio to the far side, you need to turn it down within your DAW, you know, maybe on the master fader or on a plugin before, however you want to do it. Next to this right here, we have this little headphone icon. So this will light up blue when somebody's actually listening on the far side. All right. Now at the top here, we can go between bright and dark mode. I personally like dark mode, so I'm gonna leave it on that. And then of course, with all Waves plugins, we can resize the GUI, and we also have access to the user manual. Now, when we are done streaming, all we wanna do is hit this leave button right here, and that ends the stream, but I'm gonna leave it streaming for now. So let's now look at the receive plugin that someone would put in their DAW to listen to what you're sending. So this is the WaveStream Receive plugin, and this is the plugin that the far side is going to use in their DAW to listen to the audio that you're streaming from your DAW. And all they have to do is paste in that URL link 
into their plugin to get the stream. Now I already have it copied, so I'm gonna hit this blue button here. And now it's gonna prompt me for that passcode that we created. So we did one, 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 and then I'm gonna hit okay. And as you're gonna see now, it is initiating the stream. You can see that it is reading the data from our session, which is at 48 kilohertz. We're doing stereo, and it even tells you where the playback head is at here, okay? So really the only other thing you need to know in this plugin is the difference between the stream option and the collaboration option. So the stream option is going to be the highest quality, but it's gonna have larger latency. And the collaboration option is the complete opposite. It's going to have low latency, but the quality is not gonna be as good, okay? So that's all you really need to be concerned about in the receive plugin. And I wanna actually now go back to the send plugin and let's talk about the talkback mic option. So the Wave Stream plugin allows you to inject a talkback mic into the send plugin. And then the far side can hear you talk. Now it's a little bit complicated on how you can actually hear the far side back. They also have to use a send plugin, inject a talkback mic into that, and then you need to use a receive plugin on your end, all while making sure that you're not sending that audio back, creating a loop. So in this video, we're not gonna talk about how all that routing needs to happen, because a lot of that needs to happen within your DAW. We're just gonna talk about how we inject the talkback mic into the send plugin. So to do that, you need to create a channel in your DAW that can take the microphone feed in. And you can see right here, this is where my mic is coming in. It's an aux track. And I'm routing this to bus three, as you can see right there. And all I have to do is go to my key input in the plugin here and select bus three. And you're gonna see that that initiates the mic section here. It's now lit up in white and blue. Now to turn this on, I need to turn the key option to the right and then press in the mic button and it's now engaged. Now we don't see anything yet because I have this muted, but once I unmute this, you're gonna see that we got some green level coming in and now the far side will be able to hear me. Now this doesn't duck the audio while it's playing, but you know, you can create your own balance so it can be heard over it, but it's more so for talking in between playing the audio. All right, so that is how you inject a topic mic into the Wavestream Send plugin. All right, so for the demo portion of this video, I thought it'd be cool if I stream audio from my DAW to my mobile phone here. And all I have to do to test that is I have to scan the QR code on the actual plugin. Okay, so I scanned it and this is what comes up. So as you can see, it's pretty similar to the actual receive plugin that we looked at earlier. Um, I have to put in the passcode, which as you remember is 1111, I'm hit okay. And it's currently connecting. And you're gonna see that it says test stream, just like we named it. And all I have to do is simply hit that blue button and we're ready to go. So let me do that. Okay, now it says we are live. So now I'm going to play from my DAW here and we're gonna hear it come out of my phone. I'll keep it close to here. Okay, that's all you get. Now it's still actually streaming, but I actually muted it here and you can see the speaker with the X thread. So, that's all you have to do to stream from your DAW to your phone using WaveStream. Pretty cool. All right, so there you have it. That was my review slash tutorial slash demo on the WaveStream remote collaboration plugin. And my personal opinion, I think it's really cool. Um, I have used SessionWire for a very long time at Audio Sourcer. That's how I typically collaborate with my um, artists, my clients. Um, I'm going to try to incorporate WaveStream in here as I get more used to it, but so far I think the audio quality has been great, at least coming to my mobile phone. I'm going to have to do some further tests with some clients to see what they think. I think the biggest issue I see with it right here now is that we don't have video built in. Now you can use, you know, Zoom or Teams, um, but you can't technically use the audio for this with it. And the reason for that is because this doesn't create an audio driver like something like SessionWire where we can actually select that as our playback and send it through that, okay? So typically, I guess on a video call, 
you're going to be muting the audio that is part of Teams or Zoom. And then you're going to be transmitting strictly from this, you know, wave stream using the talkback options and then the circular kind of thing I told you about earlier. All right. So, you know, I would like to see video down the road, but I think this is a great start from waves. And I would love to know what you guys think. So make sure that you leave a comment in the section below. And if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell and then you never miss a new video when it comes out. And if you enjoy this content, check out my review slash tutorial on the Waves SSL EV2, which is one of my favorite plugins by them. And with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.